The new patch for Star Citizen Alpha 3.20 hit Evil Cardi not too long ago. And as always, the pipeline got their hands on the leaks. Big shout outs to them. For this one, the testing focus here mentions it says here today's PTU build being the focus of the feature testing in the PU. With this build, we will only have the PU enabled, no arena commander, and the Hall C cargo rework is not fully available for feedback, although most of the cargo updates will function on other ships. So they mentioned here Seraphin Station, which is going to replace Port Alisar, mining stability changes and UGF Rostar drop bug checking it says so I guess they've updated the underground uh, facilities so we'll see um, what they say about that it says not ready for feedback in regards to these it says as always there are partial implementations for certain new features that are not collecting bugs and feedback on just as any issue are most likely due to partial implementation Real vehicle handling improvements, the hull C, and the cargo refactor. This is big news. This is a finally players are actually getting their hands on the hull C to actually see how it is in game. So this is really good. 320 is actually going to have the hull C. This is fantastic. They have a long list of known issues, which I'm not going to read through, but I'm going to read through some of the new features that they didn't mention the very first one is under location surfing station it says bringing the crusader port station in line with the other stations and replacing the long standing port all assault surfing station brings many of the amenities needed to accommodate the various features required of stations such as hangars cargo decks shopping clinics and habs this is fantastic so this is going to make um port ali probably my favorite one because i do like crusader the only thing i didn't like about crusader um orson state um orson location is the fact that i had to fly through the atmosphere so the fact that they have poor seraphim replacing ollie with all of these amenities is going to make it a fantastic spot to start off with all right so um up next it says under locations again for future updates it says underground facility rockstar update Rostar is a tool which is used to quickly build point of interest on planet services by combining pre-built modules together at the click of a button. They also change the way which mission locations are set up and streamed in. Essentially, they are the feature of creating planetary locations. This update moves all our original underground facilities over to the new Rostar tool workflow. All underground facilities have been replaced in the same position as they were previously with the setting they previously had applied to them reapplied where appropriate this means functionally the current location should be no different than they were before on the mission side of things also art wise should be the same bearing some minor adjustments to exterior layout of each location this is great um so under gameplay it says mining stability change it this brings some mining instability updates that should make a more balanced experience instability will now scale with rock size and will no longer affect laser power but will instead impact transfer rate laser power will now have an impact on instability with larger laser power causing higher instability note for this build to better understand the effects of the stability changes instability values have been increased by a factor of 100 to really test your ability to cope and counter the mechanics rock type not correlate to the presence of specific elements meaning there are two drivers to looking for specific resources the location within the galaxy for base rocks and rock type example c type for available common elements under bug faces there is a lot so get ready for this the asperia ships with activated viewports the prowler and the talon have opaque glass material blocking vision so that's been fixed under um, ASOP and fleet manager unable to deliver any vehicle from an ASOP terminal so that's been fixed 
the screen will constantly recenter when in interaction mode that's regarding the mouse and controls multiple locations it says ai standing and crouching on benches throughout the pu so that's been fixed we'll see about that no planets are visible in the first time the player opens the star maps so that's been fixed can i equip looted items after restarting game sessions spawning ships causes the requested ship to spawn outside of the hangars that's been fixed cryastro service does not offer the option to repair or restock ships that is really annoying hopefully this is actually fixed the vulture default bailer salvage head cannot be re-equipped in the vma so that's been fixed players are falling through sometimes disappearing trams and shuttles to their death this is pertaining to era 18 and Orison. Equipping more than five components in a single save changes and equip VMA transaction will fail. Ships will not load in VMA so that's been fixed. Players may load in with their characters dead T-pose partially submerged into the hab floor. Oh man that's annoying. The players sometimes initially spawn or fall outside of the bed in the hab or the hospital. That's been fixed. When attempting to equip the Grey Cat salvage backpack Sometimes the backpack when equipped correctly. Female characters can't fully reach the medical bed terminal screen in various ships. That's been fixed. The Artemis helmet respiratory tube is unattached on both male and female character. Ships cannot land and will float away. So that's been fixed. Players are instantly downed when transitioning from EVA to gravity with a tier 1 leg injury. Enemy combat AI is slow to respond or react. Cannon fire is inconsistent in damage to players on foot. Medical beds and screen obstruction in hangars has been fixed. The Ursa rover can sometimes spawn under the garage preventing prisoners to escape. Man that sucks. So that's been fixed. Transaction failure occurs when attempting to deposit harvestables. Now this is at Kleshner. Aesops and ATC reporting all landing pads full despite empty hangars has been fixed. Hopefully that is fixed. Uh, new deal and Vantage um, rental kiosks are missing. Finding deposit fracture difficulties can randomly change. Refinery terminals endless message processing your request and does not load the interface. The total transaction cost of renting ships and vehicles that display on rental kiosks is incorrect to what the player is actually charged. Players can enter the Anvil Carrick via interacting with the man turret on foot or via EVA so that's been fixed. Grey Cat Multitool rarely stays in Weapon Rack, will teleport back into player's hand, so that's been fixed. Multiple paint causes the captain and crew quarter windows to be opaque in the 400i. The cockpit doors of the Vaku is very darkly shadowed any time the door is not animated. That's been fixed. The snub fighters lack interaction prompt entering and making it unusable. The other side constellation, man, it's like every patch that there's an issue with this. Cargo that has been moved off grid and out of the vehicle persists on grid at the commodity kiosk, which prevents the purchase from filling those empty cargo on grid slots. So that's been fixed. Ultralight resolution inhibits cursor movement, cannot click close button and this is pertaining to the inventory ui lootable container display a red loot prompt that is non-interactable so that's been fixed ammo duplication when picking up from the floor players can use emotes to attach themselves to a ship's hull that's been fixed in addition to this there is five client crashes and eight server crashes you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video